50 feet under the desert sands of Egypt, just west of Alexandria, archaeologists are working frantically, energized by the idea that they are tantalizingly close to uncovering one of the greatest mysteries of the ancient world. The layout of the site and the artifacts found suggests that one of the most sought-after tombs yet to be discovered is close. The tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Antony. Cleopatra is one of the most enduring historical figures of all time, ruling during one of the most turbulent periods in Western history and taking Mark Antony and Julius Caesar as lovers. She has been featured in art, poetry, and lore ever since. Her deeds, ambition, and affairs helped transform the Roman Republic and gave rise to the Roman Empire, the foundation of the modern world. Despite this legacy and the riches that her tomb must hold, her final resting place is one of the greatest mysteries of ancient archaeology. Even two millennia after she was buried, her grave likely holds her mummified body and perhaps the mummy of Antony as well. They would probably be the mummies of the two most important people ever found, and they were likely buried with a treasure trove of artifacts worth a fortune in its own right, which would be almost as important as the mummies themselves to archaeological research. There are are many well-known tombs of hugely important ancient figures, but those tombs were looted long ago. Since Cleopatra's tomb has been lost, it would still be holding all the possessions Antony and Cleopatra were buried with. In 2000 years, her tomb has never been found, but we might be very close. Cleopatra, or more correctly, Cleopatra VII, was born in 69 BC and was the last queen to rule Egypt. Despite being one of the icons of ancient Egypt, she was ethnically Macedonian Greek, descended from one of Alexander the Great's generals. She made moves to strengthen her kingdom and had affairs with both Mark Antony and Caesar, changing the trajectory of Rome from Republic to Empire. Her life ended in tragedy in 31 BC, after she and Mark Antony lost the Battle of Actium. Antony fell on his sword, and Cleopatra took poison. In literary accounts, this evolved into her committing suicide by having herself bitten by an asp. 3,000 years of the Egyptian kingdom ended when it became the Roman province of Egypt soon after. Octavian, having no more rivals, would eventually have himself named Augustus, or revered, and the end of the Roman Republic would be final. Four years after Actium and Cleopatra's death in 27 BC, the Roman Empire was born. All of this has been well documented. One aspect of this story is not so well established. Where was Cleopatra buried? Two ancient historians, Plutarch and Suetonius, concur in stating that Octavian allowed Antony and Cleopatra to be buried together, but the details on where is hazier. While the accounts are consistent that Antony and Cleopatra were buried together, the precise manner is not so clear. The historian Plutarch makes a reference to Antony's urn, suggesting Antony at least was cremated. That being said, archaeologists are still keeping an eye out for his mummy as well as Cleopatra's. Historians from the ancient period often recorded useful information, but the discipline of historiography had not been firmly established, and accounts can be unreliable and must always be taken with a grain of salt. That being said, reference is made to an attempt by Cleopatra to burn herself and all of her treasures alive in her tomb, before being prevented by a courtier named Procleus, who was said to have used a ladder to get into the tomb. This suggests two things, that the tomb is indeed full of treasure and that the tomb is likely a shaft tomb. A shaft tomb is a tomb buried deep underground, entry to which is made by descending down a shaft with steps cut into the sides which can serve as a sort of ladder. The bottom of the shaft connects to rooms dug out of the rock and soil which hold the actual remains. While ancient Egyptians are famous for burying their royalty in pyramids, which is disputed now, the Egyptians had long since stopped building pyramids by Cleopatra's time, and shaft tombs were more common. The most logical location for Antony and Cleopatra's tomb would be the city of Alexandria, established by Alexander the Great himself. It was Cleopatra's capital, home to the Lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the world, and one of the most important trade hubs in the Mediterranean. It was the site of her palace and the seat of her power. But Alexandria possesses huge challenges for anyone looking for the tomb. Fate has conspired to ensure the city is not well preserved. 
least of all anything from Cleopatra's time. That part of the world is tectonically active. Earthquakes and ever-eroding shorelines have caused much of the ancient part of the city to sink. Much of the Alexandria of Cleopatra's day is located beneath what is now the harbor of Alexandria. Alexandria has been destroyed several times by warfare and earthquakes over the last 2,000 years. The modern city is built over it. As the saying goes, beneath Alexandria are many Alexandrias. If Cleopatra's tomb is in the city, it is likely buried under several layers or is submerged under the Mediterranean Ocean. Cleopatra's palace, for example, was located on an island in Alexandria's harbor, an island called Antirodos. Unfortunately, Antirodos Island took a direct hit from a tsunami after an earthquake and sank in the 4th century AD. The site lies only a few feet underwater, but exploration is difficult. The Mediterranean has strong waves, and visibility is extremely limited even on good days. Underwater excavation poses major logistical challenges and requires personnel with both technical and diving skills and archaeological knowledge. Thankfully, there is a more promising location. Modern excavations have centered around Top Osiris Magna, translated roughly as the Great Tomb of Osiris, was a city built during the early 3rd century just to the west of Alexandria. Sited on the Mediterranean coast, it features a large temple of Osiris. This could be more significant than it seems, since Mark Antony liked to depict himself as both Dionysus and Osiris. Cleopatra claimed to be an incarnation of Isis, and interestingly enough, this site honors that goddess as well. A lawyer turned archaeologist named Kathleen Martinez is responsible for much of the momentum behind the Tapasiris Magna digs. Having excavated at the site for two decades, she and her team have uncovered promising evidence. Martinez's team found several deep shafts at the temple site, suggesting that the temple was used as a burial place for important people. This also aligns with the account where Proculus prevented Cleopatra from burning herself in her tomb by using a ladder to gain access. Evidence such as coins bearing Cleopatra's image and a bust of her head were discovered nearby, and Top Osiris Magna's status as a major holy site in Cleopatra's time indicate that Cleopatra and Antony could be buried in one of these shafts. A necropolis, an area set aside for the construction of tombs, is located behind the temple. All the mummies found in this necropolis were buried with their faces turned towards the temple, another sign that something very important may be located there. Techniques such as ground penetrating radar combined with ordinary excavation techniques have revealed sophisticated underground tunnels at Top Osiris Magna, including a gigantic 4,300 foot tunnel buried almost 50 feet underground, discovered in November of last year by Martinez's team. The tunnels are expertly crafted, and Martinez hopes that they could lead to the tomb. Many of the tunnels are submerged, and waters off the coast of Top Osiris Magna appear promising. One tunnel seems to be an almost perfect recreation of a tunnel on the island of Samos, a masterpiece of engineering highlighting the importance of the site. Kathleen Martinez and her team believe the tomb may be connected to this underground network. Whether Cleopatra's tomb is uncovered tomorrow, next year, or not at all, it's impossible not to wonder what clues about her life will be uncovered. Cleopatra was vilified and idolized, despised as a harlot and hailed as a queen, condemned for her ambition and praised for her dream to restore her people's glory. The politics, intrigue, and propaganda that swirled around her during her life obscured who she really was. Her tomb could confirm or dispel many of the myths surrounding this powerful woman who, for whatever motives, changed the course of history.